there's nothing that's going to ever compare to going to Ghana as a student. The study abroad program pulls you out of that element of just sitting and actually doing. Going to the Amina Castle, to have the hands-on and the smells of the castle. You can't get sitting in a classroom. I'm originally from Ghana. The history and places, parts of Ghana that I have never been. Things that I have never questioned when I was a child. But that means thank you. It also means I'm humble myself. Me that what I say. I'm laying underneath you to appreciate what you have done for me. It's poetic. I had never even questioned it till I was right and one day I was like, wow, this is powerful. Community members also can be a part of our trips by signing up for the courses and then attend the community orientations and the classes that we have. They are learning about the culture, the language, customs before they even leave the country. Even me as someone who has gone on a trip prior has to know and learn about what it's going to be like, how you're going to feel, how to deal with those feelings while you're there. We participate in the emancipation celebration. The students walk the same path the slaves walk before they embarked upon the slave ships and taken from Ghana to the United States or the Caribbean. This motherland is mythological place. When you go there in flesh and blood, it's so surreal. It's like going to the source of the whole experience. Reaching Sankofa back to your roots and picking up your history. That helps students build that confidence, especially African American students, so that you can believe in yourself, you can accomplish or self-actualize and be able to live a more purpose-driven life. It can be heavy. The benefits of that trip to learn about yourself and learn about your ancestors is going to push you through your whole life. You're never the same after that. Service learning is a huge component of our program. It's been forming over several years, so the partnerships keep deepening. We sent a letter to one of the chiefs of the village that we go to, and we wanted to find out what does that community need. We ended up doing an education project tied into dance performance, but we were on the ground, we were laying bricks. Students learn and engage with the communities, and they make those connections between the Ghanaian communities and their own communities here. It's very unique for students at the community college level to get that experience abroad. They're really coming out well-rounded with the global experience. Wherever you're working, you come across people of a different culture. Intercultural competency is one of the things students are going to need to be able to go into the workforce. A win-win-win situation for everyone. A win for me, a win for the students, a win for the local people who make wonderful stuff. A student buys the stuff from someone, a child gets to eat because the parent was able to sell some of the stuff that they make. The student that comes back, comes back as an enriched student. That's something no one else can take from them. You can make it happen, you know, and, and we're there to support you. The way that I study and internalize information has completely changed, and I'm able to ingest the information that's given to me through those experiences through Ghana.